guys. And nice to come in here and see everything all nice and clean. And to see the tarps over the wood so that the wood's not wet. So that when I'm working, I don't have to worry about getting my hands wet. Of course, I got the gloves for it, but these still, they let in some water, especially if you start touching wood on the back side of your hands, right? But anyways, let's get into it. I'm still dealing with that sugar maple here. So I gotta start seeing what wood is gonna be for boiler wood and what's not. I'm gonna keep saving sugar maple for the smoker. And the 40 yard bin is almost full with boiler wood. I just need about a quart in there and I don't have enough wood in here to fill it. And I gotta try and find a customer for it too, but it's gonna keep plugging away at it and see how much I get in there. Got some of these shorter cuts here. That there's a tiny bit of rot in there, so I'll just pull out the rot and then the rest of it, you know, all the stuff that's uh, still got, you know, a tiny bit of rot here and there, I'll just throw it in for boiler wood and then the nice clean stuff I'll save for the smoker wood. I was supposed to get a dump trailer full of oak today and it was from a job where I picked up a bunch of wood and I left behind about 10 pieces or so and it was still there and one of the employees who works for the company he called me to come back or that he was gonna uh, get the stuff loaded in a trailer and bring it up here. So I spoke to him this morning. And then I called him this afternoon because I was waiting for him to come and drop it up here, right? I had uh, some delivery, or I did that smoker wood delivery to my smokehouse customer. So I didn't hear from the guy. I thought I would have heard from him by then and that my timing would be good to head back to the wood yard after I did the delivery. So I called him when I got back to the shop because I wanted to switch the trucks and head up here. And I called him and he says, oh no, the boss got somebody else to take it. So, so much for that. And also I went by the tree service yard today to see if I could get any wood and the front gate was locked and the back gate was locked. So I guess they weren't working today and they just had the whole place shut down. They share the building with some neighbors who do some other work and look like they were closed too with the gate closed. But so much for that as well. And while I was there, um, I was looking at that garbage job and the door was locked so I couldn't do the job today. And then I went by the metal fabricators and uh, they work on big trucks and everything with hoists and hydraulics and all that stuff. I went there and those guys are shut down. But next door is the um, junk removal guy with the uh, disposal bins and that's actually his building i didn't know that and he was renting it out to those guys and they weren't paying whatever they didn't pay for three months so the guy booted him and when i went there they were power washing the place because the place is just covered in grease and hydraulic oil and stuff from all the fabrication work right so i told him that i was coming there to get my truck uh floor fixed um in the dump bed and he says oh well i can do it for you still but not quite yet because he's just getting replaced ready so anyways let's get the splitter out and start ripping into this and see what's what i do want to do some firewood but i have to move some crates around from over here i got to pull them out of here and uh, maybe move about maybe four to six back here so i can start filling some crates back there and i was hoping to sell a bunch of wood so that i could empty out what's in there there's still about um I guess a face cord and then maybe another half a face cord at most in the back and then there's also this pile on the ground here and I got a delivery possibly tomorrow I should be able to deliver tomorrow so I'll just finish off that pile clean up this area and then put some more empty crates there and then I can keep stocking over here
guess two wheelbarrows full but that's really like one wheelbarrow for me you know to stack it up this high right but yeah that's a bunch of honey locusts that I had back there and there's a little bit of 13 inch that I'm gonna throw in with my 12 inch and I've been throwing some of the straight 14 inch behind here so that they can go in my 14 inch stack and uh, yeah I got a bunch of kindling I'm gonna finish off a bag I'm down to like two bags of kindling guys people have been buying them and I haven't been producing kindling over the last um, almost a year and I had a bunch stocked up in my shop above my office and uh, they're actually kind of gone prematurely because there's a guy who came in he bought like four bags and then he said he really liked it so we came back for another four I'll tell you a funny story when he came for the kindling I told him that it was outside of my shop and just to uh, slip the cash under my door for me so the guy came by I got there just after him so it might have been like five ten minutes after and I had the smoker wood for my smoker wood customer loaded on the truck and the tailgate up and everything right so the guys came to my shop and there's all this stuff laying out around um, you know outside he didn't see the bags we looked in the truck and he saw the bags and he mistook the smoker wood chunks for kindling I don't know why but he actually somehow got in the truck and he took the bags out he took four bags out so I had to go meet him like down the road because I was delivering the smoker wood to my customers on the truck ready to go for delivery right so not too far away I went and I met him I switched it up but I don't know he must have so there's nothing really there to climb up in the truck he was a tall guy he's probably about maybe six three six four so I don't know if he just reached over and grabbed him with his arm right but yeah so He's been buying up the kindling and I got a new customer for that. Usually people buy like one or two bags at the most. You know, if I'm lucky then they come and buy four, right? So yeah, I gotta start stocking up on some kindling. Um, there's a lot of dirt that came out of here and I think what I'm gonna try and do is level off the ground back here and then I might actually do some skids back here with um, to, to lay out some firewood on. So a lot of that wood is dry. It's been sitting there since, it's been sitting there for a year now. Yeah, so a lot of it is dry. There might be the odd honey locust and whatnot that's in there. So I'll get rid of that wood tomorrow. I'll put some empty crates there for now. I'm gonna put all these um, smoker wood pieces up beside the smoker wood crate. Let me show you. Up where this wood pile is. And then I'll be well stocked up for next year. But all this stuff here, it's, it's a grade that goes down like this. So I kind of want to fill in some of this area. So I might just put some dirt down and um, all my debris and let that rot and, you know, um, shrink down and get compact and have a nice level ground over here. I wanted to do that when I moved into the wood yard, but it was just all on level ground here. So that's why I started stocking all the wood on this side. So I've been stocking that crate behind this set here and I moved my light over if you guys didn't see that video so that 12 inch crate I got to finish off that get another one going finish off that and then I can move these out of the way so I can start stocking those two without these being in the way I guess that's it for now just a little bit of wood in the wheelbarrow to put away and then I got to get out of here so anyways guys thanks for watching like subscribe share comment and all that good stuff